I had Kadams on the show. You did? I did, and he mentioned what a great director you were, and oh, I asked him nice why, one. and he said because you were very prepared, and you were very confident, and you were good with the cast. Mm -hmm. I think it's good, as, as Jason said, to be prepared, but then also to stay open to things that, that might happen. So I think that's true for acting. I think it's true also for direct, directing. I storyboarded everything on my own, just like little stick figures, whatever. I knew the frame that I wanted to see. I always had an in and an out. And generally speaking, I think that your first impulse is right. How you see it in your mind when you read, if, and you gotta, like, you gotta be alone when you read a script. You know, and just have nothing else going on and see it in your head as you read it. And then Larry Trilling said something really valuable, and that was, you're the first audience member. So like, you know, get out your popcorn and, and watch this thing that you're making, but make sure that it pleases you. Isn't that the you know? hardest thing? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've, I had, I had a, a moment, and, I, and this is where I, I learned something, because I'll get impulses out there, you know, when I'm acting about the way something should be shot. I tend to think visually, and I was working with a wonderful director, Allison Letty Brown, and I kind of stepped on her toes, and I could see this little funny moment. We wound, we wound up using the shot that I suggested. But, but we were shooting this dog, this is in Parenthood, this Doberman, and I just had suggested filming from the dog's POV up at me, because I'm, I'm with these rappers who are all black and I say I'm I'm you know I'm only white on the outside to this dog but it's but it's this weird angle from below which I thought would be cool from the dog's point of view and we were setting this stuff up and it was busy day whatever I said hey Allison why don't we just and I could see this look I've made a suggestion in front of everybody you know like as if what she was doing wasn't good which is not what I meant I just had this other idea and you know, I went and I apologized to her, and, and you know, she was very nice. She said to me, just if you ever have a suggestion, just come up to me quietly. And you know, there's a way of doing things on a set where you're not gonna cause a commotion. You wanna be positive, and I just can't, like, like you're saying, for a director, for everybody, you're in it together. It's a big collaboration. There's no reason that we shouldn't all be having a good time together. And I've been on sets where, you know, she'll remain nameless, but like where people aren't. And it does not have to be that way. I mean, I've seen things that, you know, there was a director once who was going off on a, on a props uh, person in the props department. And uh, it was at a point in my career where I'd you know, done some stuff and had a little bit more power. And so I just quietly walked over to him and looked at him and he looked at me and then it just all went away. And I think that people know, you don't have to make a big show of whatever, but like, what are you railing on the guy for? Like, he's gonna go fix it. Yeah. Nobody needs to be humiliated or shamed or, you know, whatever. And I've worked with that director uh, since, and he's great. I love him. But. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is off camera.com. Check it out.